Call is now being recorded. Welcome to the V2E podcast, episode 10. This is Aurelius. Uh, Shorts is busy on assignment this week. Uh, we have a special guest in um, in studio today, uh, J. Vincent Howard. Um, he's a filmmaker and DJ, and uh, we'd like to talk to him about some of his uh, upcoming projects and uh, what he's got going on. Uh, Jay. Yeah. Yeah. Glad, hi. Uh, glad you're here on the show. Yeah, it's so fantastic to be here. You know, I'm the Jay Vincent Howard. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, so I hear you have a um, a film project called uh, Dirty Kids. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about what that's what that is? What that's about? Yeah, so uh, basically the kids, they come over and they're playing in the outside and they get really dirty. And then, you know, they have the slams. And, you know, they're in the slams and then they get dirty again. And we wash them off and, you know, we make the film about this. It's fantastic. So you're filming washing the kids up? Yeah, because, you know, they're dirty. They're the dirty kids, you know. Right. Sure. Um, so, where are you finding these uh, dirty kids in the slums? Yeah. Yeah. No. No. We we have the slams set, set up in the backyard with the dirt, you know. And so, basically, you know, some of the nannies, you know, who take care of the house, the housekeeper and the maid, they have the kids and they come over and they get dirty, you know. Then you're filming this. Yeah. Interesting. Um, is there a release date for this uh, project? Yeah, you know, I'm I'm thinking about sometime next week. You know, maybe in the summer, maybe uh, you know, in the fall or something. You know, or whenever I feel like it. Right, right. Do you have um, studio backing for this, or is this an independent project? Yeah, uh, the Weinstein and the, the other person who who got fired from the Nickelodeon is going to help us out. Yeah. Right. Um, is uh, Spacey involved in this one? Yeah. He is. Oh, is maybe his yeah. Company, huh? Yeah, the Spacey. Yeah, uh, you know, because uh, he, was, he was the president, and then, you know, we need the leader who touchy, touchy, you know. It's important. Right, to get those kids all cleaned up. Yeah. Sure. Well, that sounds really interesting. Um, uh, my understanding, Jay, is that you're also a, a DJ. Um, yeah. You go by the uh, stage name Slum Lotus. Can you? Uh, yeah. Can you tell us about that. What kind of music you play? Uh, what events you you're at? Yeah. So you know, I like to slam the Lotus, and you know, it's important to grow and slam the Lotus, and then you know, I, I'm doing the club in the the Hollywood sometime. Maybe next week or in the summer or in the fall, and then or whenever, whenever I feel, feel like it. Right. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm seeing. I'm starting to see a pattern with uh, yeah. with the stuff. Is that because you're so um, independently wealthy, you can kind of just create projects at will and whenever you feel like it? Yeah. Wonderful. I mean, I mean, it's basically because you know when uh, I moved to the United States, I met the Jim Morrison at the beach, and I thought they were the bums doing the things, and I thought I should do the business. And then I dominated the business, and now I'm rich. Rich beyond sure. the wildest dreams. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I know you yeah. have a lot of love for uh, for the homeless people out in, in Venice and Santa Monica. Um, is that yeah. Kind of, is that kind of what this is part, partially about, your, uh, your desire to let people know that they all count and they're all equal, you know, in the eyes of uh, J. Vincent Howard? Absolutely. I mean, uh, in the eyes of J. Vincent Howard, they're all equal and all the, the dirty kids, yeah. Well, yeah, of course. You know, something occurred to me. I, I read um, a post on social media from you recently regarding the idea of um, being able to live without money. So how do you yeah. reconcile being so wealthy and then also posting um, something regarding, you know, the idea of living without money? Because you obviously don't. You have plenty of it. 
Yeah. Well, you know, it's important to, you know, tell, you know, there's lots of the poor people out there, and they're the poor, you know, and we can't help them because they're just the poor. And, uh, you know, I, I want to relate to them, and I want to tell them that everything's fantastic while I'm living in my mansion and flying my chopper and driving my hammer, you know, and uh, fucking the nanny. You know, it's important. Sure. Okay. Well, yeah. that's great. Um, thanks for uh, thanks for calling in, Jay. Um, I'm going yeah. to uh, put links to all of your projects in in our show notes so that uh, uh, thank you. Interested, yeah. interested people can uh, can click yeah. on uh, your videos and yeah. music and, and see what's going on. So uh, wonderful, fantastic. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for coming in today. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye.